Hello, I'm Mrs. Sikowski, the Assistant Principal of Academics here at Garces Memorial High School. I'd first like to start off by thanking you for choosing Garces. Garces is an academically rigorous school, but we begin your year expecting you to be able to achieve and be successful in these courses because we expect all of you to prepare to be able to move to college. We have many academically outstanding courses. We have added a Pathways program beginning approximately three years ago. We have our Biomedical Pathways program. We have our Project Lead the Way pathway and our Agribusiness pathway. For our freshmen, many of you are not currently enrolled in those Pathways programs because perhaps you haven't had the opportunity to select an elective course at this time. But beginning mid-year, we will start having opportunities for you to be able to gain information about these programs and look to moving into them your sophomore year. All of our freshmen have seven classes. All of our students here at Garces have seven classes. Most of the freshmen don't have an opportunity for electives. So many of you, if you look at your schedules and compare, you'll see that you're in similar classes. One of the things we've looked at this year and noticed for our freshmen is that given our new FACTS programs, when you are looking at your schedule, you're looking at the course subscription title, if you will. So let's use computer science. Those of you who have computer science, that class might say CS100-1, CS100-2. Those numbers, the dash one and dash two, are not the periods that you have a course. So some of you have been thinking, okay, computer science 100-1, that means I must have it first period. It does not. So please don't look at that number. Look at your schedule in terms of when you look at first period, what class is that? When you look at second period, what class is that? It will say English nine, it might say theology nine. Do not look at the course number or that little section number, and that may help you get to class on time. We also have a block schedule here at Garces. We have green and white days, so every other day you will have a class for a 90, 90 minute block period. I try to keep track of that green white schedule knowing that on green days those are my odd number classes. And yes, we do have a rotating schedule so that Sometimes I might have seventh period the last period of the day, and other days I might have fifth period the last period of the day. But please note, first period will always be your first period for the day. On white days, we have our odd, uh, even number classes, periods two, four, and six. Please note, we don't ever change second period. That is always your first period for that day. Some days you might have fourth period last period or sixth period last period but it helps to remember green days are odd days, white days are even days. Another thing that I'd like you to keep in mind is we have had some issues with students perhaps downloading information, submitting coursework. Please be mindful if your iPad is not updated, you're not going to be able to access any of your documents nor submit anything to your teachers. So I've had kids say, I don't know how to do it. Please, if your iPad isn't updated, then you won't be able to submit. It's like opening the door and closing the door. Updated opens the door. Keeping it not updated is gonna shut it down for you, all right? Three things I'd like you to keep in mind. So I call them the three C's. For me, the first one is commitment. Commit to a goal when you come to Garces. Aside from us wanting for you to be able to be successful, beat our requirements and attend college, I want you to think about what other goal you might have for yourself while you're here these four years. Whether it be clubs, sports, campus ministry, commit to that goal and make it your goal. Achieve your personal best for yourself. Also communicate, talk to your teachers, email them. If you have questions, you can call me. Your counselors are your huge advocates while at Garces. And lastly, collaborate. We have daily enrichment where you can attend to collaborate with your instructors on classwork. If you've missed work, need to make up work, but also it gives you an opportunity to collaborate with your peers, establish those relationships. Now, right now, virtually is a challenge for all of us. I give you that. It's a challenge for me, but I encourage you, please reach out, email, send little videos. 
I love that all of you are getting involved in running for elections, and those of you who aren't, you're supporting your peers by voting. So please, commit, communicate, and collaborate. And we wish you extreme success at Garces. Thank you. Hi Rams, I am Candace Howlett. I am the freshman counselor here at Garces. I wanted to take a minute to introduce myself and also share some information that I thought would be helpful to you. Um, a lot of students are struggling with the Garces calendar right now. Um, they don't know what class to log into or if we're on a white day or a green day. Um, so I would encourage you to get on our Garces website and you can scroll all the way down on the Garces webpage and click the calendar link at the very bottom. You can then subscribe to our bell schedule. That bell schedule will then link or sync up to your iPad and you can click on your calendar and view exactly what period you're supposed to be in. Also here at Garces, we have a grading portal. The grading portal is called FAX. You can create a parent account and a student account. And in that account, you will be able to view your student's academic progress in each course. I would advise you to log into the FAX account weekly to check and see how your stu student is performing academically. You can also log into that account daily and hear or read our daily announcements. Additionally, my favorite thing about Garces is enrichment. Enrichment is held Monday through Friday after the last period of the day. Um, your student can, if, if your student is struggling in a certain class, um, they can schedule a Zoom meeting with, say, their English teacher and utilize that time to ask questions about a project or a paper or how to properly study for a test. I think this time is a gift to our students and I highly encourage all of our students to take advantage of enrichment um, and hope that you are all doing that. Lastly, I am going to be sending out emails in the near future to all of our freshman families. I'm going to be setting up freshman meetings via Zoom. They're going to be with student and uh, parents or guardians and um, at that time I'll be able to answer any questions or help you navigate any concerns that you may have. Um, again, I am Candace Howlett. I am the freshman counselor. I'm here to support you academically, socially, or emotionally. Please feel free to reach out at any point um, with any questions or concerns that you may have. Thank you.